Uh, welcome friends in our SQL Server tutorial. In this tutorial, we are uh, exploring more about the date function which are available in SQL Server and how can we use them in our day-to-day -day activity to get the, uh, get the information with the help of date functions. So in our previous video, you have focused on the date part, date part function to get the year of the given date, year, month of the given date, quarter of a given date, day of a given date, weeks of a given date. Okay. And before that we have using date add function to get the last and pre last and next day for a given date, last and next year for a given date, last quarter and next quarter for a given date. And before that, uh, we have uh, focus on the date diff function to get the difference between two date, date, dates and uh, retrieve the difference in years, in month, in quarter, in days, in milliseconds, in hours, in minutes, in seconds also. So here we are again with the uh, with a new function that is date name, date name function in SQL Server. Suppose that if you you have a date and you want to fetch the month name of a given date or you want to get the day name of a given date then you can use the date name function to get this kind of information. Here you can see date name, date name function takes two parameters one is date part and another is date so i have already created a cte table and uh, take a date as a my date you can see that uh, if i am going to execute this query so it is given my date if i want to get uh, month uh, month name of the month name of month then how can i get it so i am going to use date name function and pass the m m for month then my date so here you can see that uh, that is october if i am going to change the name as a 11 11 month and then sorry there should be 30 days in November or oh, sorry in November then you can see that if I am going to pass uh, 12 then it is going to be December so if I want to know the name of the day then of day then I am using the same date name function and here I am passing D okay then you can see that is 31 okay okay if, if I am going to execute this then you can see it is running the day so I need to I need to know the name of my date then dw and d and going to execute it now you can see that is third day if I am going to pass it as a 12 then what is the day that is Sunday so you can see with the help of date name function in SQL Server you get the name of the month and name uh, day, name of the day for a given date so it is very easy so please subscribe my youtube channel to learn more on sql server ssis ssrs azure sql server talent and uh, we are going to be publish more videos on r python tableau power bi also Thank you for watching us.